Mario, you're the head of products at GitHub. I absolutely love GitHub. I've been on it since day one, since I wrote Hello World um, until now. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are bringing in developers every second now. That's just incredible that to know. That is incredible. I love the keynote this morning. Thank you, so thank you, thank you. Amazing things <laughs> like being able to tell me how good is the quality of my code. There I you do go. not want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you announced you're bringing in all of the partners in the ecosystem. Yes, what? we call it Agent HQ. Nice. What was behind that decision? If you think about GitHub, we took this technology called Git and we made it into a hub for developer collaboration and the open source community came into it and how that's what flourished overall. Same thing if you want to think about the pull requests. The pull request is a technology with code diffs, right? Very boring. And then make it into a collaboration platform and engine. And then right now, as you know, it's a water hole for developers as well. If we really want to democratize agents and bring it to the next one billion developers, then we have to turn it into a collaboration platform too. And that's what Agent HQ is. It's really about this new collaboration platform and really redefining what our primitives are. And that's what makes it really exciting for me. Yeah, collaboration is definitely the way. Uh, before it was just us, now we have yes. AI in the mix. 100%. Um, how do you see that advancing in the next few years? So one of the ways that I, I love using GitHub, merging. When uh, Satya was in the keynote and I was talking to the, him in the fireside chat and he was mentioning this whole concept of, hey, the inputs have been changing. Like yes. back in the day, you had to know, let's say, assembly. Mm -hmm. And then we make compilers, which means that you could now program at a higher level. And then we have these IDEs as well and these editors. And then that means that it kept going going up and that allowed more and more people to enter the industry. So the way that I see about this, we're kind of like the very early stages of what can happen with AI. We're the very early stages of the new tools. You and I were talking about IDEs mm -hmm. and how that's going to evolve. Are you going to need them? Sometimes, but sometimes no, right? Maybe Depending not. exactly what you're doing. And mission control is trying to provide that developer choice too. So like, you know, if I'm actually going to be programming in Rust, I am going to need a bunch of tools and that IDE. If I'm going to to be doing a quick thing like my daughter right now she wants me to take a picture and then turn it into a dragon nice. I don't need the whole thing I just need compiler to do it then push it you know I'll probably create an agent that does it multiple times in case she asks me again and I, and I think that's the beauty of where we are today and that's the advancements that I see is more customized agents on top of this platform really getting to that output or that value instead of us focusing mainly on just the inputs yeah I love that that's amazing okay thank you so much cheers